Hey guys, um, I don't know if this uh, conversion adapter changes the sound. I do know that I've had some in the past that seem to change the sound when you use these 3.5 millimeter to 1 4th TRS jack things. But I've noticed when I connect the hype to, to my, these earbuds to my motherboard sound card, which is no doubt pretty good because it's a gaming computer that's a you know a couple thousand dollars but um these earbuds sound really good when i connect them to my computer possibly better than when i connect them with this adapter but i'm going to put them back in with the adapter because i'm using this to monitor my audio but the, the audio hype too they do sound really good um they can be a little bit fatiguing on the ears because they're pretty big but um I just wanted to say that I'm calling these now end game again. I've kind of flipped back and forth about them. And I find I kind of feel the same way about the SimGod EM6Ls. They have smooth treble, they have really good response, but I kind of wanted to talk about this more in depth real quick. Um uh so let's uh look at my website again. So um I decided to make the uh, the audio hype to end game again so I have to honestly edit this again gonna make this end game so um yeah I've, I've flipped back and forth about making the the audio hype to end game or not that's how they measure on my target um so now we have two earbuds that are endgame, the SimGuard EM6L and the The Audio Hype 2. But uh, also, that means that the, uh, uh, I have to edit this too. So basically, Shure is being uh, upgraded from Pro to Endgame. Um, I've kind of flipped back and forth about that. Where the hell is the Endgame? I have to add this. Okay. Um, I'll fix that in a minute. Um, but, uh, so if we go to the end game grapher, and uh, I have to add the hype 2 to this as well. Well, when you boot it up, the hype 2 comes out. So the hype 2, this is the hype 2 and the shore target. Um, we flatten the shore IE target. Ex this this is basically in game. Yeah, there's a 5k peak. Yeah, there's like a 10k dip. Yeah, there's like a shrill peak around 14k and you know 16, 17k, 14, 16k. There's some bite to this ear earbud definitely, and maybe a 5k lump. You know, we compare it on my target. My target makes the you know 5k lump look even more prominent. Maybe, you know, makes it bit more extreme in the highs uh reduced a bit so but you know we flip back and forth between targets it's it's good on both targets to be honest you know it does look better on the shorter target though than my target um and then again we have the sim guts the m6l actually looked better on his target than my target in my opinion uh, when we look at my target, my target makes it look like it has a 4K lump, which I do think it has. I think there's a 4K lump on the EM6Ls. Um, so, uh, uh, what am I trying to say here? Um, basically, the Shure IE target um, and the Hype 2, I think they are end game, to be honest. Um, they sound really good. And again, I've flipped back and forth between this for a while now. But, uh, uh, I, again, I've upgraded uh, Shure to a Industry Destroyer Pro. He's an Industry Destroyer now. He's end game. He's, 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 he's amazing. So, I kind of flip back and forth. Maybe Shure's, you know, stuff is a little bit below me. But honestly, I think it's on par with me um and i think again both of our targets are basically the same to a large degree um you know 
both of our targets uh, are about the same. Um, they're a little bit different, but they're within the, the tolerance of acceptable and uh, stuff like that. So I do think the Hype 2 and uh, the Simgadium 6 seller in game, and they're, you're not going to get much better than these. And they, they do offer a little bit of a different uh, sound, mm. mainly, you know, a thin, punchy uh, sub bass or a warm, uh, boomy sub bass. You know, the treble's basically the same. Um, you know, it's, it's basically the same. And then again, you put in the DT990s. Yeah, boys. You know. So I, I think these are all end game, to be honest. Um, again, the uh, dt 990 since they're open back, they mm -hmm. don't have a seal. They uh, roll off the sub base. Um, but besides that, amazing. So. I'll see you guys later. The sure IE target is end game. You know, I, I kind of flip back and forth, but I, I think it is. And I think the hype two are amazing. Uh, and it's end game as well. I'll see you guys later.